Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up project calendar. Uh, for that purpose, I created one simple project with two tasks. Task one is supposed to have five days duration. Task two is supposed to have three days duration and I connect them uh, and I made a schedule uh, with finish to start. Uh, relationship which is going to be explained in uh, one of my next videos. Okay, so you can see from project project information that my uh, start date, project start date is supposed to be at Monday uh, 14th uh, of February, Valentine's Day, and uh, it will be finished at Wednesday 23rd of uh, February. Okay, now and if you go to your sponsor, to your manager, and if you are a project manager, you can show them, okay, we are going to have a project with two tasks, and here is the start date. We are going to start today, and we are going to finish at uh, next Wednesday. Okay, or Wednesday, to, uh, yeah, uh, two weeks uh, ahead. Okay, now, but it can be completely wrong. Why? Because maybe the project calendar is not set up properly. And let me show you how can you set up properly your project calendar and be aware that you should do it before you start to build your schedule. You can do it, of course, after your schedule is built. But if you make project or if you add it your calendar after your schedule is built, then you will face, maybe you will face, in most cases you will, different results. Let me give you an example. Let's say that Friday 18th is national holiday and the Tuesday, 22nd of uh, uh, February, is also national holiday. How can you set it up? You are going to use Project tab, Change Working Time, and you will face your calendar. I'm using Project Standard Project Calendars. You, I can use uh, much uh, more calendars, not only standard. I can create my own calendars. But it is, this is not the topic of this uh, of uh, uh, this video. So I will say, okay, I am going. I am here now. Project change working time. I am in exception tab, and I will say, let's say, national holiday, and I will say that national holiday is at. Friday, 18th of February. And I will say that I have also, sorry, here is national holiday. And I will say that I have also national holiday at Tuesday, 22nd of February. Before I hit OK, notice that nothing is changed here since I didn't hit OK button, and you can see that my schedule is to start at 14th of February and to be finished at 23rd of February. But after I hit OK button, oh well, here it is. It is going to be started at Monday, 14th of February, but it will be finished not on Friday, 25th of February, because I have two holidays. And you can see those holidays here in a gray area. Friday is holiday, and uh, Tuesday is holiday as well. So be aware, after you, you make your own schedule, and you make an exception, your, your current Schedule will be affected with those changes. Now, do you have to 
uh, uh, put each and every uh, exception uh, with that I mean holidays etc etc for the whole project for uh, each and every year no you can have recurring holidays let me show you how can you do let me go back to ex uh, the project calendar and you can see that I have national holiday which is which is supposed to start at 18th of uh, February and finish at the very same day and national holiday number two also but what if I have each and every year national holiday at 18th of February and 22nd of February for that purpose I will choose this one okay national holiday I'm going to hit details button and I will going to make a recurrence and I will say this national holiday is going to be recurrent. It will start at 18th of February this year, and it will end, let's say, at, for at uh, after 20 occurrences. So it will occur for next 20 years. Why didn't didn't I put 200 years? Well, guys, if you will have your project, which will be recurrent for 200 uh, to uh, which will last 200 years you are stuck you are in great problem so for this purpose i put 20 years occurrence so what does it mean when i hit okay that if tasks for if any task falls at 18 of february at 2022 2023 2024 until 2041 it will be as a non-working day. So you can say, okay, I have uh, Christmas or, or say Labor Day. Okay, and I can say it will start at May, uh, 1st of May. It falls in Sunday, at Sunday this year, but not next year, not a uh, year after that. So I am, uh, anyway, I will put it here no matter if it falls at sunday i will say yearly and i will say it will be finished after 20 occurrences so yes it will be finished at 1st of may at two, uh, uh, 2041 so basically my suggestion is before you are going to uh, uh, put a, a, a make your schedule build your schedule put all your holidays here and uh, last but not least uh, two very important things those holidays national holiday national holiday labor day are going to affect anyone in a company so no matter which resources are going to work on which task if the task, like in my example, task one, falls in one of exceptions. We, uh, with that, I mean non-working days, because exceptions are uh, uh, non-working days. All resources and any resource which you assign to any task which falls in those non-working days will not work. So this applies to the whole project, to whole resources. And one last thing, if I now save my project, I will say save as, and I will say, uh, I will save it in the, let's say, in the uh, at desktop, and I will say this is my project one. And if I close this project, and if I open new blank project, and if I go to change working time i will not have those exceptions those holidays uh uh recorded so for each and every project you should recreate those uh, those non working days except if you don't copy this project 
calendar as default in a global project template which is beyond this video and I'm going to show how to do it in the future. Okay? But unless you make those calendar as default for your project application in your global project template, you will have to recreate those calendars that, uh, uh, for each and every new project. Hope this helped and thank you very much.